Whew. Let me just get the door for you. Okay. He got me at the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. I don't even know this from. Mm -mm. Yes. Uh, would you want me to open the door for you? Okay. Look at you. You're recording me? Yeah. Yeah. This is the Cheesecake Factory. This is the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. What's the problem with that? This is a chain restaurant. Who takes someone that looks like this to a chain restaurant? You want to talk about it? I'm, I'm fine with talking about it, <laughs> even in front of them. Oh yeah, I want to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, so I was not going to do a video about this, but people keep sending it to me. And the more I see it, the more I agitated, I guess so I'll figure I'll do a video. First, before I even start, shout out to my nigga Smack. He's inside the, the video. He, I guess he did commentary for it. Y'all need to check him out. It was the only video that would download. Every other download, uh, every other video of this wouldn't download. So his video, that he must be the chosen one. In any event, let me get right into this bullshit. Now... First of all, let me just state this, that most of y'all black women are not the most desired women around the planet. That's first. Most dating apps, they do surveys. Black women are the least chosen woman on most dating apps other than by black men. So the fact that this bitch went on a date with an Indian nigga, he look Indian or Middle Eastern or some brown type of people. And he took her to the Cheesecake Factory. First of all, Cheesecake Factory ain't fucking cheap, bitch. He, you act like she, he took you to Wendy's. Not only that, this bitch had the audacity to say he took somebody that looked like this. Like what? Bitch, you look like the Michelin Man. Bitch, you look like the Marshmallow from the Ghostbusters. Bitch, your face look like a baseball. Bitch, you look like you ain't got no edges. God damn this raggedy ass. And hey, she looked like she was kind of like a little overweight. Bitch, you not fine. You ain't Nicole Murphy. Bitch, you was, you, you was literally a biscuit away from Monique back in the Parkers. Like, stop fucking playing. Not only that, this bitch is bald headed. She used to take out that goddamn the mistenches. She would be bald headed as fuck. He, she got that nigga fool, but she got some big ass tits, so he probably was blinded. And this looks like it's probably in California or maybe the Midwest. That's the only two places that Middle Eastern or Indian niggas even take a chance with black bitches. They ain't pulling that shit in New York. And I'm down here in Atlanta. It's a little small Indian population. They is not fucking with these ghetto ratchet hoes. Maybe a black bitch that look like Nicole Murphy or even Gabrielle Union without the attitude and the brainwashing and bitch trying to turn you gay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the audacity. These hoes have the like the nerve. You get taken to the Cheesecake Factory. Now he about to foot the bill. Anybody knows that been to the Cheesecake Factory between two people, the ticket is at least gonna be seventy six, eighty nine dollars if you get drinks. So the fact that he took it to any maybe it's not a five star restaurant. It's a chain restaurant. Bitch, they serve decent food. I'm not gonna say quality, but it is decent. However, you look like you got a pack of bologna and some goddamn Ritz crackers at the crib, bitch. Stop fucking please. Black holes. I, I fucked with a, a many of them. And while I love you hoes, I done been to a lot of bitches' houses and bitch ain't not got nothing but bacon soda and tomato sauce and some grape jelly in the refrigerator. You broke hoes. And if you're lucky, the bitch got some purified water. And every now and again, you run into a woman that got a packed refrigerator. You got to cook that shit. So you sitting there 12 hours and it'd be worth it. I'm just going to say that. But more often than not, like this bitch look like she's 37. Not only that, bitch, you was over, you almost over the hill. Now, I know a lot of people going to say, nigga, you 40, well, you, you shouldn't be talking about over the hill. Bitch, I'm a man. As long as I keep the grays away and do a couple push-ups and shit and the wrinkles don't set in too hard, I'll be all right. You hoes don't have the luxury of that. After about 42, bitch, mother time starts kicking in. So the fact that an Indian nigga took your black ass to a chain restaurant and genuinely probably likes your stupid ass. This is literally, I know there's some black women that's out there that's like, yo, I wouldn't have been tripping. I would have went to the chain restaurant and shit. This bitch is making it hard for you hoes. It's sort of like the thugs in the streets. When I want to talk about social issues and police brutality, I, it, it makes the argument hard when a nigga is shooting another nigga. This is the same thing. A bitch get taken on a date by a nigga outside of the community and she act like a fucking asshole. Then he goes back and tells other Indian niggas that black bitches ain't shit. 
which 40% of you hoes ain't. But that's neither here or there. So, yeah, like it makes the argument hard. You about to fuck it up for a bitch that got some sense. You about to get fed for free. At least get the free food. A bitch can't even get the free food. She going to make a scene about it. And he, 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 to his credit, he was cool. He was cordial. You know, he had more fucking tolerance than I did. He won't talk about this shit. Why the bitch on social media? Me, I would have stole on a hoe. Now, look it. While I don't condone fighting bitches, I fight pretty much anybody if I'm not at work. We on the streets, I don't give a fuck, right? But in situations like this, I probably would have blew a gasket and slapped the hoe in the mouth. Now, I know a lot of people is like, yo, then you go to jail. I don't give a fuck. I've been to jail four times. And I can post bond. Now, I know posting the bond is a little bit fucking... Minor inconvenience But I would've did it Now nah, let me be realistic In real life I would've just threw her the fuck out the whip I would've casually got out Opened her door Picked her up And ushered her to the fucking curb I don't got time for this shit Plus I don't have time for a grown ass woman Going on social media Trying to air out agreements She may have with me Bitch any problem you got You could probably tell me Without the fucking audience of Three, three fucking people Bitch in any event, if you like this episode, a lot of this shit's going to be muted because YouTube was on some bullshit. But if you like this episode, subscribe, turn the notifications on, and like, comment, and share it to all your fucking friends, and I'm out. No.